Ladies and gentlemen, the 46th Governor of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Governor Tom Corbett. Good morning. Thank you, General. Thank you for the kind introduction. And thank you for the invitation to be here today. As I was standing there, I'm sure I was doing what many of you were doing, thinking about that day 11 years ago. 11 years ago when terrorists made war upon our nation and upon our people. And thinking how much today felt like that day 11 years ago. A nearly cloudless sky like today. The beginning of the fall temperatures. It was a peaceful day. I was in Harrisburg. I had a meeting. It was a Tuesday also, if you recall. And as I got to the meeting place at the Commission on Crime and Delinquency, I was told a plane had crashed into the World Trade Towers. I wonder what you were thinking at the same time when you first learned it. Because I know that that day and the, that message and the course of the events during the next couple hours were etched in my memory and in my heart, as I'm sure that they have been met, etched in yours during the same period of time. And one of the reasons that we come to events like this, whether it be here in Carlisle or in Shanksville or at the Pentagon or in New York or wherever we are in this country, is to not only remember those who we have lost, but to remember what happened to this nation on that day. We are a people of freedom, but there are those who would like to take that away. Not a day passes that does not confirm once again that there is no acceptable, re acceptable reason for the actions of those terrorists. And since then, we have shown the world that there is no compromise in our determination to remain a nation of free people, safe in our homes, and entitled to the liberties that were inscribed by our founders. We are a nation in which civilians govern the military. We are a nation in which faith sits comfortably alongside reason. We are a nation that understands that to live in fear is to live in bondage. It is fitting that the first warriors that confronted and foiled those terrorists were passengers, civilians, on a jetliner flying across the skies of Pennsylvania. They were of all races, religions, and background. They did not need a committee meeting or instructions from the government to decide what to do. As typical of Americans, the people of Flight 93 took their instructions from our history of confronting evil. They knew what they had to do because they knew what any other American would do. They fought, likely knowing that they would not survive. What is more important is that they knew something bigger than themselves would live on. Today, our men and women in uniform continue that tradition. Whether that uniform is a military uniform, a fireman's, an EMT, or a police officer's. We are here today to honor their sacrifice, and that sacrifice includes death. It's a great thing, we all agree, to live in freedom, and we should never take it for granted. It is a sacrifice beyond understanding to die protecting our nation and our liberties. Each of them, those who came home to us and those we lost, stood guard over our American dream. We must always do our part by remembering. But it is in our character to move forward, never letting yesterday use up too much of today and tomorrow. The best monument we can build to the brave men and women who took Sentinel is to protect the values and liberties for which they gave their last full measure. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. Lieutenant General Timothy Maude, 
Lieutenant General Timothy J. Marsh. Colonel Allgood. Colonel Brian Allgood. Colonel Brian B. Allgood. Colonel Boom. Colonel Campbell Boom. Colonel Campbell B. Boom. Colonel Brescola. Colonel Richard C. Brescola. Colonel McHugh. Colonel John McHugh. Colonel John M. McHugh. First Sergeant. They are no longer with us.